on in. What's up? What's good? What's pop? What's crack? What's percolating? What's really good in the hood? It is your man Theo Butler, and welcome to. A... Oh, you 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 got big balls now. <laughs> that was so nice. I'm just saying. Oh man, listen, before we begin, like, share, subscribe. If you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. If you want to say, Theo, I'm a hypocrite, you can say that too. <laughs> so, uh, man, wow. Uh, before we begin, like, share, subscribe. You like, leave a comment. Guy ran up on stage, attacked Dave Chappelle. For what reason, I don't know. Dave Chappelle, I do not believe, had uttered one joke. And I know there were a lot of speculation. There was a lot of speculation and innuendo in regards to why this young man felt like he needed to run up on stage. In regards to Dave Chappelle, it had nothing to do with what people think it was. It was just a random act. Now, <laughs> I say that because some people want to draw comparisons between what happened to Dave Chappelle and what happened to Chris Rock? Don't. 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 We, we, you want to draw a comparison because it was two black men attacked by two black men? Okay, stop right there. <laughs> see, see, Dave hadn't said anything about this young man. Hadn't mentioned this young man. This man does not belong to a community that has been offended by a Dave Chappelle joke. <laughs> he don't. This young man was seeking attention for all the wrong reasons. But he was seeking attention. That's the difference between him and Chris Rock. And as y'all saw the picture, y'all saw the picture I put up there, what Chris Rock told Dave, that's a punk ass move. By Chris Rock. And this whole situation has been a punk ass move enabled by people who have no problem enabling people who don't have a problem making punk ass move. See how that whole lack of accountability thing go? Will Smith did apologize. He didn't apologize to him face to face, but Will Smith did apologize. Where's the accountability from the dude that did the Good Hair documentary? Will Smith apologized for physically assaulting him. Where's the apology from the dude that, because reiterating that it was a joke is not saying I apologize for the joke. It's saying, I'm telling you, I'm clarifying it was a joke, as in I meant no harm. Well, you cannot mean harm to somebody and still harm them. So when it comes to Chris Rock, he still has not apologized for the joke. But the man who punched him dead, who slapped him dead in his mouth for Chris Rock being insensitive, that dude apologized. Stand up, dude, because that dude ain't said nothing bad about his wife either. But Chris Rock, Chris, you got a lot of nuts right now. See, you can go up to Dave Chappelle and say you got slapped in the, you got smacked by the softest in the rap game, but you didn't say that to Will. You didn't say that to Will when he was walking up on stage. You didn't say that to Will in, while he was slapping you, and you didn't say that to Will when he went back down and sat down. Matter of fact, you know who been who been. Talking for you, Chris, everybody else not named Chris Rock. And everybody else not named Chris Rock been aligning themselves with you, but they not you. You a coward. Dead ass. You can tell everybody the reason why you didn't swing on Will Smith was because you almost killed somebody when you was a kid. But you know right from wrong. You know wrong from right. Maybe the cat, the, the little kid had it coming when you did it. Maybe he didn't. But you know damn good and well, you was wrong for what you did, as in you took it too far. So you holding yourself accountable for that one. But well, where's that same, the same accountability when it comes to you making a joke about Jada? Like I said, I don't care for Jada. But you know what, Chris? I'm not a big fan of yours right now either, because you looking real sus out here in these streets. You could talk about how you feel about Will, you can't tell Will that, and you had, I don't know what, maybe five seconds to tell Will straight to his face how you felt about him. You ain't call him the N-word. You ain't say he was the softest nothing. You ain't even mention nothing about his rap career. You know what you did, Chris? You attacked his wife. 
When you could have, cause see, they say people, it's, it's a certain group of people say what they, how they really feel when they mad or tell the truth. That's right. It's a certain group of people that tell the truth. Look, kids, angry folk, drunk people. Well, Chris, you wasn't drunk. You ain't no kid. You and your feelings because Will Smith smacked you in your mouth. So now you finna tell the whole world how you feel about Will Smith. Now it explains some stuff why you can't keep Jada out your mouth. Yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and tell the truth and show it again. You got smacked by the softest dude in the rap game. You been feeling like Will Smith was soft, Chris. That's why you went after his wife like you did. You didn't think something was going to happen. The softest dude in the rap game, the softest dude that ever rap, smacked you dead in your damn mouth, and you ain't do nothing except go run, tell your whole damn family and the rest of the comedic community like they going to do something to Will Smith. Guess what? They ain't running up on Will either. <laughs> Get one of them to crack a joke about Will and see what happened at this stage of the game. What I mean when I say that, if you make a joke about Will Smith right now, you trying it because he's vulnerable right now. But see, watch this. Because so many of y'all had so much to say about who Will Smith wouldn't have ran up on stage with. Right. OK, cool. I like that. Here we go. Let's reverse it. Let's flip it because I believe in equal energy. Chris Rock. You ain't making no joke about Beyonce with Jay-Z in the audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come, 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 come on, come, come, come on, somebody. You ain't making no joke about Denzel Washington wife. She's sitting in the audience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come, 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 come on. You ain't saying nothing about Samuel Jackson wife, and she's sitting in the audience. Yeah, 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 yeah. I keep this thing going. Kevin Hart shorter than you, and you ain't saying nothing about Kevin Hart wife while she's sitting in the audience. Oh, we need, need to keep going. Good God Almighty. I know I can. Who else we need to talk about? Watch this. You ain't just to say nothing about Monique, and her husband ain't no damn comedian. Yeah, I'm, we, we talking about it. You a coward, bro. You a coward, flat out simple. You trying to hit your wagon up to all these other comedians and they would, watch this, Dave Chappelle could have been sitting in the audience. You ain't finna make no derogatory comment about Dave Chappelle, wife, bro. You said what you said about Will Smith because you do feel like he's soft for whatever reason. You really don't care about his rap career for whatever reason. But let's be clear and let's understand who Will Smith is. What you had to do that Sunday night after he slapped the taste out your mouth was present him with his Academy Award. Let's also be clear. This dude has also won a Grammy for best rap album or song. Parents just don't understand. I ain't saying I'm just saying. Listen, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. I really, really do. They call the state state. Look, Chris Rock, that good hair damn documentary, you dry snitching on your damn self right now. You don't know how to shut the hell up because you got way too many people enabling you and D.L. Hughley is one of them. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. Peace.